My name is Orma and this is Streams of Joy Daily Devotional, written by Pastor Jerry Eze. Start your day fully charged with incredible insight and uncommon revelation of God's Word. Glean exceptional principles for unprecedented dominion and exploits in your business, career, ministry, academics, and life in general. All doors and gates shall be opened as you embrace these words of life. Good morning to you, child of God. Welcome once again. Today is Thursday, the 25th of February, 2021. Thursday, just Thursday already. <laughs> we just started the week just the other day and today is Thursday and the word of God is saying, give a command, give a command. And our focal scripture is taken from the one that we've been reading, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1. And it says, now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets, saying unto Elisha, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. Amen, amen. The woman in our focal scripture today cried to Elisha on account of a debt that her late husband owed. That woman did not only cry to Elisha, she also said words to him. The word saying as used in that scripture comes from the Hebrew word Amar, Amar. One of the meanings of Amar is to command or to declare. Amar infers taking what belongs to one by giving an order. So that woman in the midst of her tears made a demand for her sons. Friend, it is not enough to allow your emotions to find expression effortlessly also issue a command concerning your situation after crying about that situation that you are not happy with command it to bow to the lordship of jesus christ command your painful situations to bow to the power of god make demands concerning the gates that are yet to open make demands concerning the solutions that are yet to manifest if there be any issue that made you cry bitter tears already, now is the time to make demands for divine intervention. Make demands for a change of story. Knock on the doors of heaven and demand for new chapters of joy to be open to you. Make demand from heaven and call forth the restoration of whatever you lost in time past. Make demands from heaven and command every satanic force to depart from your dwelling. That situation of the woman who met Elisha did not change simply because she cried. Her situation changed because she moved from met crying and made a demand from Elisha. Tears alone won't change your story, child of God. Dare to be audacious and make demand that heaven will re respond to. Tears alone won't change your story. Dare to be audacious, child of God, and make demands that heaven will respond to. Command the sources of your bitter tears to expire by the fire of God. Command the sources of your pain to give way immediately. It is okay to cry about hurtful situation, but it is more important to make demands and issue commands that will change your story for the better. Amen, amen. And for further reading today, we're taking it from Isaiah chapter 45. Our memory verse is taken from Isaiah 45 verse 11 and it says, Thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his Maker, Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the works of my hands. Command ye me. Amen. And finally, our declaration for today says, Every negative situation that has cost me tears expire now in the name of Jesus. Say it again. Every negative situation that has cost me tears expire now in the name of Jesus. And I know that as you have decreed and you have declared these words this morning, every negative situation that has cost you tears is expired by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. God is so kind to have released such an amazing word to us this morning. And today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, and we'll be saying thank God it's Friday. So don't forget, you need to join us tomorrow again for the Streams of Joy daily devotional reading. But until tomorrow, until next time, please let us let you know that we do love you so much and you are the very best.